Hey guys, it has been a hot minute since I last did a video on SafeMoon. And many of you that are watching this video, maybe you only watched my videos in the past covering SafeMoon. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate all your views. I have been also covering news on Bitcoin and on XRP. And I've been trying to do this more or less on the daily. So if you're really curious to see what's also going on in the world of Bitcoin and XRP, Definitely feel free to check out those videos. I would love for the community to get stronger and not have it be just tied into whatever happened to SafeMoon stuff. But we are going to talk about SafeMoon today. There is an update that's here. And let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Starts off by saying, Happy Thursday, SafeMoon Army. This is coming from the official SafeMoon Twitter account. And for those of you guys that missed out on the old news, there is a new company that owns SafeMoon. So... Let me just make that really clear for you guys if you're worried about John Crony and this and that from the past. Uh, this has been going through the court system. So there is a new company that owns SafeMoon, and we hadn't really heard much for, I think, a couple months, a few months, and we got this news today. The SafeMoon Wallet version 4.0 beta signups are now live. Apply for the closed beta here. Limited seats available, safemoon.com forward slash wallet wallet dash beta. All right, I'm going to provide a link to this down in the description below. The form will remain active until all seats are filled. So if you'd like to participate in this, if you want to check it out, you guys are more than welcome to. We are also going to be going through some of the feedback that's been going on from the community so far. So this is what it's going to look like for you guys. SafeMoon Wallet version 4.0 beta. Join the closed beta test for Android and iOS. This form will remain active until all seats are filled. You just fill out this information down below. And it says Android or iOS. For the iOS users, this must be the email associated with your Apple ID. For Android, please enter the same email address you use to log into the Google Play Store on your device. Just provide your first name, last name, and email address. And I'm trying to scroll down doesn't want to seem to let me do that let me try and refresh the page here there we go okay oh that's weird it kind of locks it into place scroll down and then now it's it is what it is here email address country platform you choose discord username i'm gonna refresh the page here again yeah see that's so weird all right well i scrolled all the way to the bottom and then now I can actually see everything. So it was a little bit wonky on that page, but it appears to now be working for me. So hopefully you guys don't have any problems with that. And we're going to take a look here in just a moment at some of the user feedback. First, I want to share with you guys some information about the Exchange Margex. If you haven't heard of this platform, they do give you what's called leverage trading or margin trading, and it's quite high. So for example, XRP, you can go as high as 50x leverage trading, for other cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can go as high as 100x and there's no KYC. That means that if you want to get started, it only takes about 30 seconds to one minute to create an account. You can do regular crypto trading on this platform. You can also buy crypto over here. These are just a few examples. They also have copy trading where you can see other people trading. You can mirror the trades, autopilot, one click, super quick, super easy. They even have staking options and bonuses. You can claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. If you want to research this more, if you want to get started with it, you can find that link down in the description below. And this is available in a lot of different regions. If it's not available in your region, some people may decide to use the VPN. Obviously, that choice is up to you. And again, that link is down in the description below. All right, so uh, SafeMoon goes on to say in response to their first post, feedback will be handled via Discord. You can find more details on the form. If you are accepted, we encourage you to share your experiences with the SafeMoon Army. FYI, you will still see the old app store description. This will be updated once the application is released. Here we've got Jasper Chopra, who says testing SafeMoon 4.0 beta looks amazing. And they got a little bit of a, looks like a movie sequence going on there. Web3 movement for everyone. Sanju, Sanju SafeMoon says SafeMoon beta is live. And right here you can see the notification history. So back in January 19th of 2024 this year, 
Important information, the Safemoon wallet will be decommissioned shortly. Press here to learn more. And then here we are, September 19th, well, technically two days ago. Check out the Safemoon X account for more information. Safemoon wallet version 4.0 beta is live. We have T... T Tiza, Tiza, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. Tested the Safe Moon Wallet version 4.0. Its new look, features, and upgrades is mind blowing, all in one app. New network options, beautiful interface, new tokens introduced, security improved, track your wallet and activity in a second. And we have ourselves a little bit of a. You guys can check that out and make sure it's just muted. Safe Moon Wallet. Yeah, it's just really quick five second little promo. Safe Moon Wallet. You guys can see that new logo right there being associated with VGX Foundation. A little sign up pop up once you've actually signed up for it. Okay. And then moving on, we have Jimenez. A little bit of a video here. And this runs for about a minute, 23 seconds. So we're actually going to let that play a little bit while I read for you guys what they wrote. Beta testing the SafeMoon version 4.0. It is smooth and very impressive. We'll be posting more videos of the charts. Anything you all want to see, please let me know and I'll show it. So just to show you guys a little bit more of the app here. Got to agree to those terms right there. And we've got the browser section here. We've got the tools section, the ability to change icons. You can change what type of default currency that you want. You can add more wallets, security settings as well. And here we've got the calculator. Plop in right there, choose what chain that you want. They've got a variety of options. I saw Avalanche, there's SafeMoon over there. You can see the icon in the top corner as well. And then heading back over here. Same thing, agreeing to those terms and conditions. And then this takes you over to safemoon.com. You get some more information about the migration steps. And then we have Welks. Crypto, all in for the SafeMoon wallet beta. Love to see it back up. Can't wait until we see the SafeMoon token. Or could it be coin on it? It's a start, right? And then just a little bit of a preview. You guys get to see the wallet in action once again. Top gainers and losers. You can see what's going on with other crypto. What tokens that you have. And then we're going to head back over here. This is the main first post that SafeMoon had. Wait, is it actually this one? There, there we go. This is the main first post announcement with it. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And I want to see what other people are saying directly underneath their post. Uh, so this one says, I applied. Will you for the app? Uh, for me, the app crashes immediately after the intro appears every time. That was yesterday. Just keep that in mind. Thanks. Quick question. What happens with the people who still holds tokens from the contract that was halted? after all the legal issue with Coroni? That's a really good question. And I'm hoping that we're gonna get more information on what's the latest updates going on with the token or the blockchain. Hopefully we'll hear some more information on that soon. Happy Thursday, SafeMoon, signed up and ready. Keep building, strong arm, crying <laughs> emoji. I like the version a lot, so impressive. You still pushing this fork. Do I still hold all my original SafeMoon or is it or is all that worth nothing? Link is expired for Discord. Uh, this person's calling it a scam alert. This person's laughing. Uh, that one looks like it's probably a scam. Another potential scam submission done. Rocket emoji, beta signups are live for the updated wallet. Signed up, hope I get lucky. What's up fam? It's been a while since I've been here. Okay, I feel like this is deja vu. Anyone else? Thank you. What do I do with my old SafeMoon on the old wallet? That Discord link doesn't work. When no SafeMoon swap be launched. And by the way, that Discord link doesn't work thing, that was also posted two days ago. But we're seeing people here talking about it more. It actually caught my attention because SafeMoon was trending on the right side. 
hashtag safe moon there. Okay, so I think that's good enough for this video. I want to know what you guys think about all this. Please share your thoughts with us down in the comments below. Do you think that this is nice to see somebody take over safe moon and that they're trying to move things forward? It has been pretty quiet for the last few months from this company that now owns safe moon and lo and behold here we have version 4.0 of the beta signups uh, this was an acquisition it did go through the court system process for them to be able to acquire this so as far as from a legal standpoint goes it looks like there's more that's in place now obviously than there was before when there was john caroni in the picture so potentially safe moon has an opportunity to bounce back and move up but of course, there's going to be a lot of concern with it because of the past and everything else. What do you guys think? Share your thoughts with us down in the comments below. Again, you can check out that link for Margex down in the description as well. And also that uh, link to be able to go sign up for the wallet beta. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. If you guys want to show your support for my channel as little as a dollar a month, and you can cancel any time, by the way, I do appreciate it. There's a link down below. Same thing with my YouTube members as well. God bless you, and yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope everyone's doing well. If I haven't heard or seen from you guys in a long time, I really hope you guys are doing well. If anything, let me know in the comments down below how you're doing, okay? I really hope you're doing well. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.